What's going on? We back. Good fella Sports TV. We up in the building. Appreciate everybody for checking in. One time for the one time. We grinding. Much blessings to the brothers and sisters out there supporting the channel. Make sure you subscribe button. Make sure you check out our playlist. A lot of boxing, MMA, NBA, tennis, golf. I mean, hood series, classic or not. Check them out. And I um, want to talk about today they did the press conference um, for Abner Mars and Javante Tank Davis. It's going down at the Stub Hub Center at Carson, California. They call it now like the Daniel Help Center or something now. They renamed it, I believe. Um, shout out for, to Fred there. Getting some really, really good content. Um, you know, one of the best interviewers out there. Um, you know, but, you know, one interesting thing came up that uh, Fred, you know, got from uh, Javante Tank Davis is that he was 173 pounds, okay? Um, he's about to fight Abner Mars, and I'm going to double up or double back with another Javante Tank Davis video, uh, video as well. Um, something very interesting that I think a lot of people are going to be interested in. Um, he fighting Abner Mars, and basically, before I get to the gist of the video, include Abner Mars in here, is that Abner Mars really wants to drag Tank into the later rounds, and I think he can get him in the later rounds, and this, that's if he can survive uh, tank speed and power early on and it's a good chance that that may happen and I'm gonna tell you why it's a good chance that may happen it's a good chance it may happen because Javante Tank Davis was uh, uh, he's reportedly he said that he was 173 pounds we didn't know him and Adrian Broner was traveling uh United States going to fight the fight um eating shrimp prong calamari you know drinking you know and just getting big and he got into an incident at a strip club where he allegedly punched one of the dancers in the head she came back like Six months later, talking about the Me Too movement inspired her and stuff of that nature. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's, you know, neither here nor there. He got to stay out of trouble. He needs to stay away from Adrian Broner, okay? And he is on track to be the se uh, Adrian Broner the second or Adrian Broner Jr. And I'm going to, uh, and I'm a, you know, speak on that in one second. But his timing may not be there from all that time off in the ring. The reason why him and Abner Morris did not fight in December or in November, I think it was December they're supposed to fight. Because Javante Tank Davis, uh, you know, made with promotions, paid all that money for Tank Davis to get that super WDA belt and drop Machado to regular WA champion, that they didn't feel like he was going to be healthy and in shape and make weight again in a short amount of time. And they may be right. He was 173 pounds. He had to, what, cut shit about 30 pounds? You know what I'm saying? No, shit, 40 pounds. He had 130. He had to cut about 43 pounds. To get to the ideal weight, and was he gonna do that healthy? You know, healthy. You know, I don't think so. So he went and went out there, uh, you know, un, you know, unhealthy. You know, drained if he would have made the weight or lost the belt for not making the weight. Um, and he could have got exposed, and still can get exposed because he ain't been active. This dude should be four, fighting four or five times a year to be real. But he, especially with his levels of opposition, he ain't been active. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to worry about getting the timing down pack, getting your win down pack. First time being the main event in the United States. Obviously, he was the main event versus Liam Welsh over there in the UK. So it's a totally different atmosphere. He's had a lot of experience for such a young career. You know, we're going over to the UK and fighting to get his big crowd, beating up on Pedraza, getting the belt at a young age. He knocked him out in the seventh. I believe he said he had to knock out a knife round at one point in time. But at the same time for him, you know, he got to be in shape. He got to be focused. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing we were saying about Adrian Broner when he was missing weight down at the lower weight classes. You got to be focused. And if he, he can get upset if he ain't, you know, properly in shape and he ain't sharp for this fight. It can't happen. If he goes to the later rounds, I'm telling you, 2019 is going to be the sh uh, upset, the year of upsets. Me and Kurt Sugar said that a couple months ago. Look what happened to Jamil Charlo. But if he ain't sharp versus Abner Mares, Abner Mares, you know, does have a Hall of Fame type of resume by this uh this era standard you know what i'm saying and if he can take the gas out of tank davis and survive the power and speed early on and if his hypothesis that take tank davis is a front runner is true he drag him late he could probably stop tank late or just i'll point him and i'll hustle him that's a real possibility but you know you know it's all about javante tank davis right now he's similar to adrian broner not that adrian broner was bigger than his opponents and outweighed them by large amounts but he's similar to Adrian Broner from the simple fact of, you know, being uh, being out of shape in between fights. You know what I'm saying? You know, he can't be out of shape, being unfo being not focused in the strip club, partying, drinking, and being out of shape and enjoying the money. And you really ain't touched no money yet. The money that he posed to be touching, running with Leonard Ellaby and Mayweather Promotions and Floyd, 
he ain't even tapped into that, but he's already contempt and he's already accepted that he likes being a hundred thousand or barely in a millionaire. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, if he's already contempt and he's in love with the lifestyle more with the flash and the glitz and the glam of, the glam of being a boxer. Well, you're going to see more, more and more times not that he going to be 170, 180, shit, damn near 190 pounds at five, 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 four. And that's what Adrian Broner was getting away with, you know, early in his career. He was able to re, uh, uh, go all the way up in between fights and then chop it all the way down, you know. But at the end of the day, it caught up to him. It really drained, you know, it really aged his body out like like a banana being in a bag. That's how rapidly it happened for Adrian Broner. It wasn't so much of going from 35 to 47 to 47 to 40. It wasn't that he was just so good at 35. Yes, he enjoyed the size advantage, but guess what? His body you know, was just, you know, drastically dipping and taking a, a deep, deep dive, man, because he was putting all them miles on this car. I mean, on his, <laughs> on his body, it was like a car, you know what I'm saying? Driving 10,000 miles and not putting oil, giving your car oil change. You're not main, keeping maintenance in your car. You're not keeping shit up and fixing shit. You know, you know, when you need to fix it or before it happens, then your body's going to break down and give up or your car going to break down and give up on you. Your body will do the same thing as well. And that's where Javante Tank Davis is probably going to become the next Adrian Broner, Adrian Broner Jr. And he's following right into his footsteps. I will get as far as away from that guy as possible. But even without him, you get in the fights at bars, you drinking, you drunk, you fucking up your money already earlier. And that's your business. But, you know, anytime you going 40 pounds above your fighting weight, that's never good. And once you start hitting 25, 26, 27 like Broner did, his body is going to turn on him because he turned on his body. Right now, you're young. You go out there and drink, drink and fuck it up and then still go hit the gym in the morning. Shit, once you get past 25, my dog, once you get around that area, especially in the hurt business, you know, your body ain't going to be able to snap back like that. Real talk. Your body ain't going to be able to snap back like that. That's just an actual fact. His body is going to turn on him. Either he's going to end up at a weight that he, his limbs and his height say he can't be at. Or he gonna end up, his body just gonna, gonna turn in, his brain gonna turn into a tomato. It's gonna shrivel, his body gonna shrivel, and he gonna look explosive one day and look like a, 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 a Super Saiyan one day. Then he gonna look like a regular fucking a Namek, you know, Namekian, that's what they call him. A regular Krillin, you know what I'm saying? Regular, powerless dude, his body is gonna turn into his body, he's gonna start eating his muscle. Brain fluid is already gonna be drained out. He ain't gonna be able to move like he used to move, punch or, uh, or move with the fluid that he used to move. And obviously, I don't think that that's going to happen in an Abner Mares fight. There could be some some kinks and some bumps in the road just because he ain't been in the ring in a minute. It'll be April to February, damn near a whole year. And plus, with the abuse on his body. But what I'm saying is, he's going to be Adrian Broner Jr. in the fact of taking care of his body. His body's going to turn on him. You know what I'm saying? That's what's going to happen. If he don't keep eat right and change his, his diet in between fights... And train in between fights. You shouldn't just train when you got a fight coming up. You should be training year round. Not telling you to go in the gym and go seven days hard. You should be training five days a week. That's your job. Your job ain't just when a fight come up and train for eight or 12 weeks for the fight. No, your your job is to stay in shape year round. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't going to be fighting three, four, five times a year, well, you need to be training in between fights. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm just another YouTube nigga who don't know nothing. Okay. You know, I'm just another YouTube nigga. That's what they're going to say. They don't know nothing. And that's, that's lying. But when this shit happened, when it happens, they, when, when what happened to Adrian Broner happened to him. You know, everybody going to be saying the same shit and forget I did this video. Okay, I'm just telling this to uplift this brother, to give him something to think about. Everything can't be praised when you ain't done shit yet. And you ain't done shit right really yet. Okay, you can't be praised because you're the apple of Mayweather's promotions eye. You know what I'm saying? Just keeping it real. You know what I'm saying? You got, you ain't. You 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 supposed to be still getting critiqued, and if everybody gonna just be patting dude on the back of the head and patting him on the back and tell him how great he is, you know how he's gonna fix the issues that he got. And guess what? Those issues gonna be there. It's like a spoiled kid, you know. You think he gonna grow up and mature, but you've been spoiling him his whole life. He never fixed the issues, and I grow up with 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 a lot of immaturities and love not a lot of other problems. They need to be telling Tank that. You know what I'm saying? And if they ain't telling Tank that, and they ain't telling the truth, and the reporters and the media. Ain't telling the truth, he gonna fall victim to the Adrian Bronerism, man. But y'all know what it is, man. Good fella sports TV. I got another one for about tank coming back to back. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Also you can reach out to me in the email. Uh questions, business inquiries, sponsorships, or you want to just reach out for the video request. Also got the Facebook group. Wanna make a donation to the channel? That link's in the description as well. 
Much blessings to all your brothers and sisters. Hopefully everybody brought in Christmas if you celebrate that well and brought in New Year's and bringing in New Year's well as well.